Hey there. Um, hi. Walk away, people. My name is Harold, and uh, this is my walk away movement. I made one back in August of 2018, but I was never really comfortable with it, and I never posted it. But uh, I figured now is the good time. I will be attending the events in New York City, the walk away events in New York City next week. So I decided this is as good a time as any to get it out there. By the way, forgive the sunglasses. I suffer from photopedia, which is light sensitivity. So I have to wear them. And I just like the hat. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I started in politics when I was about 15 years old, when my cousin David took me to um, a Vietnam War protest. Uh, he was, you know, I was 15 and he was like, you know, you're going to be 18 soon. And they're going to want to draft you if this war doesn't end. And I was like, I don't want to go kill people. So I became an anti-war activist, you know, as much as a 15-year-old can do. And, uh, you know, but uh, I was always a Democrat. I always considered myself a Democrat. I always considered myself uh, somewhat progressive. But I was never an ideologue. I didn't hate the other side. I didn't consider one perfect and one evil or any of that crap. So I just, you know, okay, I was a Democrat. But the Democrat Party never really, really, really felt right. There was something wrong with the whole picture. Um, I saw the education system in New York City and the and the segregation and the, you know all this kind of stuff that just bothered me. It's like if the Democrat Party so great, why are the inner cities so crap? It didn't make any sense to me. So anyway, I just went along with it because you know basically I was used to it. It's what I knew. But, uh, you know, it really wasn't, uh, like I said, an ideologue. I wasn't crazy about it. But um, then came 2016. And what I saw there was just so ridiculous. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. It just seemed that the election of Donald Trump or the even the uh, before the election, the campaigns, was just so outrageous and ridiculous I'm a New Yorker. I know Donald Trump. I mean, he's been in the news here for 20 years. No one ever called him a racist or a misogynist or a bigot or any of those things. But now all of a sudden he became all overnight. Boom. I mean, this pictures with him with the NAACP, with Al Sharpton, like hanging out. He got an award. Now all of a sudden he's a racist, crazy man. Give me a break. Okay. You lost. That's it. You lost. Get over it. But they couldn't. And what I saw coming out of since then was the vitriol and the hatred of not only Donald Trump, but anybody that supported him. All of a sudden, half this country became bigoted, racist, crazy, rural, uh, low IQ, uneducated, deplorable morons into the left sides. And it just got ridiculous. And I just, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I couldn't understand it. And then I realized that they didn't care about this country. They cared that they lost. It bothered them so much that Hillary Clinton, by the way, I hate Hillary Clinton, okay? Um, I think she's a horror show. For I think that the Democrats made a huge error. Um, I'm not a Bernie bro, but I would have preferred Bernie anytime over Hillary. I mean, it's not even close. So, you know, that really bothered me when they messed over Bernie and they, you know, they gave Hillary on a silver platter. And when she lost, the world went nuts and I couldn't deal with it. And I said, you know what? I've had enough of this. And like Brandon Straka said, you know, what was going on here? It didn't make any sense. So now I am a full fledged, uh, deplorable Trump tard. I like the guy. I'm glad that he's standing up to all the craziness and the insanity out there. You know, it just makes no sense that that it was like this at all. So I'm not making a whole lot of sense, but here I am. And, um, I, you know, I just hope this country gets its act together and that the walk away movement makes some sense. I think it's gonna do a lot of damage to the Democrats. I think that they're, they're, they're going so far to the regressive left with the identity politics and all that stuff that just makes no sense to me. So that's my story. It's not much of a story. It's just a story. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, uh, I hope to make more videos. I hope to be more uh, involved. Um, 
if I can, considering the conservative censorship that's going on on social media and all over the place. But I think that's going to get settled, too. But uh, that's about it. And uh, I love you all, and I thank you all for listening. And um, we'll see what happens. Have a great day. Bye.